Welcome to Fall Ritual Haunted Attraction Reviews 2019. Today, I will be talking about Bloodshed Farms Fear Fest in Columbus, New Jersey. Now, last year was the first year we did this, um, and I absolutely loved it. Loved it last year, could not wait to come back. Um, in fact, I, I couldn't wait, I had to go opening night we tried to get a couple people together to go out through the scheduling. No one could go out, so it was just me and my girlfriend going out opening night. Absolutely loved it. Um, this actually, after this experience, this could be my number one attraction. This, this place is probably number one. It, it's just incredible. Um, it is unique and one of a kind. You're gonna hear me say that a lot throughout this review. Now, bear with me on this review. This has the potential to be a very lengthy review. Um, you know, there's no editing that I do or anything. Um, I do have some notes here I wanna get through. Um, just bear with me and go on this journey with me. Um, before I get into it, um, I do want to give a few um, shout outs to a couple people who I got to meet and run into. Now everyone out there is absolutely incredible, all the actors, staff, everyone, amazing. Um, but a few people, uh, Bobo the Clown at the Hayride, Gus Gus the Grabber um, at the Trail, Jokey the Derelict in the Clown, uh, the Clownophobia, Giggles in the Clownophobia, Satfire outside of the Clownophobia, Noel and Chris in the gift shop, Jim and Clark, the two owners. Um, I didn't get to meet you guys, but uh, thank you for an absolutely amazing attraction you put on. Uh, now I gotta give an extra special shout out, thank you, massive thank you, um, to Grin and Cheeks. Uh, I'm literally at a loss of words. Thank you so much um, for all that you have done. Um, Grin, I think we've been talking probably close to a year now, so it was very, very awesome to finally meet you. Um, Grin and Cheeks are um, the most down to earth, humble, legit people. Um, you, you you will meet. They're, they're just absolutely incredible. Um, they love what they do. They love scaring the crap out of people. They love getting into their their character and sticking to it. it it's just absolutely amazing what they do. Um, you you know I always say um, I have a huge respect and appreciation for the actors, not just there in any haunt. Um, Massive respect and appreciation. Um, I always knew when when, when certain characters um, or or certain people do these do the characters and get into this character and do it. I always knew it was never like this like cheap like Halloween mask. I always knew that these masks and stuff that they do is is some sturdy stuff. I had no idea how heavy in weight these things could actually be. Um, I mean, to put that on, a lot of them do contacts, a lot of them wear heavy clothes. It was a hot night Saturday. There's just constant sweating, um, and they do it because they love to do it. It's just my respect and appreciation is like through the roof of uh, what they went through, what everyone goes through. It's it's actually, this it's unbelievable. Um, when, when it comes to me doing fall ritual stuff, um, I'm a little shy, a little timid, um, don't exactly have the confidence to do stuff. Um, I'm almost like a little kid by the edge of a pool, like dipping his toes in the water. Grin is like the person who comes up behind you and just pushes you in the water. Um, so thank you so much, Grin, for just pushing me to do certain things with uh, the whole fall ritual. Um, yeah, all right, so thank you, then Grin, Cheeks, amazing. Um, I do, I'm gonna get into the review of it. Um, 
Bloodshed Farms, like I said, Columbus, New Jersey, they have four attractions. Clownophobia, Hell's Gate Asylum, Trail of Terror, Last Ride Hayride. Um, go on the website. Um, I know the prices like vary when it gets closer um, to Halloween, um, but go on there, check it. I actually think on October 4th and October 5th, um, if you go on their Facebook and Instagram, I think you can get a $5 off coupon, um, which is really awesome. I think you can do all four attractions for like $25. You can buy tickets online. You can buy them at the uh, ticket booth. Um, it's really cool. They have like a line for cash, a line for credit, because they do take credit at the ticket booth, and a line for online uh, pickup. Really, really efficient, really effective um, with their lines. They don't have an ATM on site, but like I said, they do take credit um, at the ticket booth and um, in the gift shop. But if you're like me, who spend all their money on other things and stuff in the gift shop, and you realize, oh crap, I have no money for tolls on the way home. Um, and if you do need to get money, you can go to the gift shop, they'll swipe your card, and give you money, um, which is really, really awesome. It uh, saved me an extra stop trying to find an ATM and get money out. So that is really, really cool. Um, waiting in line, you will encounter some actors. Um, there's a guy dragging this giant wrench. I don't even think they made wrenches this big. He's dragging it across like the concrete. It's making this horrible sound. And it's got like a screwdriver sticking out of his head. I mean, just amazing. Um, and none of these, none of these like actors there will ever break character. It's just unbelievable. No, everyone gets into the character and sticks with it 100%. Um, you're going to encounter there a Michael Myers. I'm going on record saying that it's the best Michael Myers I've seen at a haunt, period. Um, the, the walk, the posture, the, the coveralls, the mask, the not breaking character, um, I wanted, we wanted to get a picture with him and he's kind of like pulling me over to this like one area. I, I had no idea what, what's going on. He's not breaking character. He's just kind of like pushing me over, posing me. I, I didn't even know what the picture was until I, I saw it afterwards and that picture turned out incredible. Um, you can see it on my Instagram and my Facebook. The Michael Myers character is the only like horror icon character you will encounter at this place. Um, this place relies strictly on one of a kind and unique characters. The actors there, they get into their character, they stick to it, give it a hundred percent. You will not see like just any random Freddy, Jason, Pennywise. You will not see that here. You are seeing legit 100% unique actors and characters. Um, you're gonna go through, to get to the actual common area, you're gonna go through a gift shop. This gift shop is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna get back to the gift shop um, at the end, because um, that's where we spent a lot of time at the end when we were coming out. So I'm gonna talk about that later. Um, once you go through there, you're going to get into like the common area. Um, that's where you're going to access all four attractions. There's two other attractions to do, a escape room and the um, bloodshed. I didn't do those last year. I did do them this year, so I'm going to be talking about them. Um, tons of things to do. There's games. There's food. Um, there's like picnic tables that have like bales of hay that you sit on. It's just this whole common area, the atmosphere of this place is absolutely amazing. Um, especially when it gets later in the night um, with, with all the fog. I'm definitely going to be talking about the fog a lot. 
Um, so we decided um, what we wanted to do first. We were going to go in the order that um, we did last year. So we went to the clown of phobia first. Um, that's where we met our friend Sapphire. Um, Sapphire was like, no, 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 do the hayride because that's where it seemed like everyone like went towards. It was like as soon as they got through that gift shop, it was just like beeline right to the the hayride where it's like you don't. You could do anything in, in any order, but it was just like, okay, everyone went to the hayride, so we did the hayride first. Um, so I'm going to talk about them in the order we did it. Um, the hayride is the most unique hayride I've ever seen with like the wagon. It is, it has the, like these, like, iron fence going around it and like this like wall like so you can't even see the driver of the tractor I found out that was custom built that's why you, I've never seen it before that's why you never will see anything like it in any other places this place the owners the, the, the set designers the people who work on it to build this stuff these are people who have a vision and know exactly how to execute that vision a hundred percent and it, it's incredible like I said get used to hearing me say unique and one of a kind because it everything about this place is just that so we get on the hayride I've been on many 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 hayrides with different types of groups and crowds and people from all walks of life on the hayride. I've probably seen it all. I have never been on a hayride where the group we were sitting with at one scene, at one moment, they're all like carrying, like scared and like frightened and terrified. And in that same scene, giving a, a round of applause to an actor. I've never been on a hayride where a round of applause was given to an actor. Unbelievable. Um, if you see the actor who does like that, like bent over, like it's just, it looks like the scene from like the, um, the Exorcist when like Reagan's going down the stairs and she's like all bent over. You see the actor doing that on the hayride give that person a round of applause because then they just like tumble off the, the hayride it oh my god it's, it's so it's so crazy um what they're doing what they're doing on this hayride this hayride is also not just the hayride the whole thing but the hayride is very interactive um and what i mean by that is um if, if you wanted to be if you want to get in in part if you want to do thing do, do it if an actor on there tells you to do something do it it's an interactive hayride um you don't get to a cemetery scene now cemetery scene with zombies now i'm sure you're probably thinking uh it's i've seen cemetery scenes with zombies seen it all before you haven't seen it. You have not seen it all before. This goes from just a cemetery scene with great actors, zombies, and in second turns into something you have never seen before. I can't tell you what it is, but I can guarantee you you've never seen it before. Um, I, I was so blown away. I'm like, oh my god, dude, like did, I, I've never seen it. It, it just after so many haunted attractions, to say you've never seen something before is just absolutely incredible. Um, that part, the cemetery part, can is an interactive part. Um, an actor might tell you to, to, to do something, just do it, be a volunteer, do it, you know? Um, there you're gonna encounter a clown scene. Um, on the hayride, that's where you're gonna run into my buddies Grin, Cheeks, and Bobo. 
who love to get up in your face, who love to scare the crap out of you, who love to be so, again, this is another interactive scene. Um, I've never been on a hayride where one of the clowns gives a severed head to a person on a hayride and have them shoot it into a basket. Um, it, that's just, that's just crazy. Um, if you want a chance to shoot that head, um, when you go on a hayride, sit on the right hand side towards like the middle. I think that's where he gave the head to someone and you could throw it into a basket. It's, it's completely out of control. I've never been on a hayride um, where fog has completely scared people. Now fog usually sets just the tone, the mood, the atmosphere. It's, it's there as ambiance. Rarely does it actually like scare people. I, I mean, little people jumped when, when like this fog came out. It was the amount of fog in this whole place is just unbelievable. Um, no shortage of fog at all at this place. It, it's a hayride that you're going to stop at every scene and be able to enjoy every scene. I've been on many hayrides where it's like there's a scene but the tractor keeps going. Um, the tractor's not going to keep going. It's going to stop. You're going to get to see everything. All the actors, all the, all the props. I mean, the sets on these things are so detailed. The actors are so great. It's just an absolute one of a kind hayride. I mean, already there's things I've never seen. There's there's interactive parts I've never seen. The, the, the group that I'm going on hayride, we're doing things, round of applause I've never seen before. It's just absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, and let me tell you, every actor was on point. This was opening night. You know, you think there would be some type of opening night nerves, jitters, if there were any of that by any of the actors, it did not show. Everyone was on point. And this is a long hayride too. You, you see, don't go on there and it'd be like, you know, 10 minutes, boom, you know, a couple scenes. No, this is, this is a long hayride too. So after you get off that, again, you could do anything you want. Um, we went back to the clownophobia. Um, this is not your typical clown house in a building, um, mainly because it's not a building. Um, I said it last year, I'll say it every single review, I will always be amazed that this clownophobia was built from the ground up. Um, it's God, it, it must, it, it's so big too. I, I can't even imagine the amount of man hours and time and sweat and blood and whatever went into building this clownophobia. It's just truly unique and one of a kind. And you're not gonna see like the, the 3D paint with the 3D glasses. You're not gonna see black light. It is like an old time, big top circus freak show type thing. It is just unbelievable, this clown house. Let me ask you, when is the last time you've been in a clown house and you saw a puppet show? Yeah, probably never, um, but you will see one. Um, there's a, there's mazes in this clown a phobia and I don't remember many like mazes um, from last year. There's one part you're gonna get to and you're gonna see like doorways although they're not actual doors it's like a curtain but still there's like many doorways and you know what that means you're gonna get lost those those doorways are gonna lead to a dead end they're gonna lead back out you know it's just it's just crazy, you don't know where to go, you're disoriented, there's like arrows, but those arrows are all over the place, they're like meant to make you get lost and confused. 
I, I don't know how someone can build this, like, with all these different rooms and things, and, oh, God, there's there's another maze that you're going to get to. Um, that's where my buddy Jokey the Derelict is. He's kind of laughing at you because you can't get through. It's, yeah, it's, it's nuts. Um, the very, the very end um, of the Clown of Phobia, I had a question for the actor that was in there. Um, I think her name was Bubbles, which would make sense because it's just this big room of foam, whatever. Um, how do you breathe in that room with all that foam? Because as I was walking, I'm starting to get like, not like cough, but yeah, kind of like coughing, kind of like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm like, you know, you're breathing this in and it's just like, how does someone stay in here, not just for one night, but every weekend for like almost a month and a half, you know? How, how do you do that? There's there's things in this clownophobia um, that just, uh, like I said, it's, it's like a circus that you are run into like a giant gorilla. It's just uh, like, why? You're just thinking to yourself, this is just total lunacy. This is just uh, out of control. It, Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Built from the ground up, one of a kind. You will not see anything like this. I guarantee you that. After the clownophobia. Oh, dropped my notes here. We, uh, there's no editing here, by the way. Um, we did the trail. Um, the trail reminds me of a trail and I don't I hate comparing things but um it reminds me of a trail at another haunt we did earlier this season that I said was one of my favorite attractions I hate comparing things but um this trail was top notch I, absolutely amazing this trail is very interactive if you want it to be um me and my girlfriend we went in by her, they let us go through by ourselves. Um, there was like a group coming up like through the thing. Um, and we just had so much fun in the trail. The group actually called up to us. You're gonna, there, you're gonna get to like this like camper, campground, it's like a camper trailer. There's a lady there. She's gonna ask you what you're doing on her property. If you respond, we're trick or treating. She'll make you reach like your hands in like these like pumpkin buckets, um, reach in there. One of them has something disgusting in it. The other one, you know, you might get lucky and pull out a pack of the Splenda because why not? <laughs> so, but be interactive, like talk to, you know, if you, you freaked out, you know, you're supposed to be scared, you're running through it, you know, whatever. But just look at everything. I mean, just just take it all in. Look at all this stuff. Um, there, there's so much going on. It, it's it's incredible. Now I assume actors are used to people screaming, being scared. It, that's the kind of reaction that an actor is used to. I don't know if an actor is used to someone walking into a house. And my reaction to this like voodoo lady with like this amazing headpiece on and like makeup and this amazing dress thing. My reaction was when I walked in that house, oh my God, this is the most incredible thing. And then Alicia, my girlfriend was behind, she's like, what, what, what? And she saw it and she's like, oh my God, it's just, I'm sure they appreciate it, but I'm sure that's not the reaction they get, but it's just absolutely amazing. And that was another interactive thing. She made us do like this ritual chant and she's like, you like rituals? Of course I like rituals. I mean, look at the name of the YouTube page. Um, unbelievable. There was like a voodoo guy too in like the next house. He was amazing. Unbelievable. It's very interactive. If you allow it to be, you know, um, don't just like walk, you know, just walk through like, you know, cattle through. They won't cattle through you here. So just take it all in. Look at everything. Um, and it's hard to because I know like the very first house we went to on the trail uh, with the lady with the, the babies. Um, Alicia's like, oh, yeah, there's a 
baby in the fireplace. I'm like, what? I, I didn't even see it, but there's so much to look at. It's, it's definitely sensory overload. You can't see it all, but try and look at, you know, everything because there's a lot to look at. Um, there, there's a part on the trail there, this guy, he's like speaking like another language. I have no idea what he's talking about. I have no idea what he's saying, but he's like looking directly at me, speaking this foreign language. No idea. And it almost would sound like a question. I, I don't know. So I'm like, oh yeah, totally. You know, for a split second, he almost broke character and started to laugh because he knows I had no idea what the hell he was talking about. But uh, that was the only, only slip. And I just, I was like, this is awesome. This is interactive stuff too. I mean, you can't see this anywhere else. So awesome job to the, um, the guy speaking a completely different language. Um, great use of chainsaws um, at the end of the trail. This trail is very long. Um, I'm going to say this pretty much at every, and during every review, every place I go to, you're going to a farm, you're going on this trail. I hate it when I see people give like one star to a place and it's because they got their shoes dirty. Don't wear nice shoes and clothes when you're going to a farm. You will get dirty. Your shoes will get dirty. So just keep that in mind. Do not give a one-star review because your shoes are dirty. After that, we do the asylum, the last of the four. Um, now, you're probably thinking, oh, just the asylum, you know, and it was same stuff as all everyone else. If you think that, and if you just watched this, you, you haven't listened to a word I said. Um, this asylum is unique and one of a kind. Again, it's like the clownophobia. It was built from the ground up. Absolutely amazing. Um, and the fact that the these places aren't in buildings, it's probably why they can use so much fog. You can't use this much fog in a building, so they utilize the fact that it's all open and they can just go crazy with the fog. Um, the asylum, of course, you're going to run into doctors, nurses, patients. Um, the janitor there was absolutely amazing. Looks like he was trying to plunge something disgusting, flinging water on you. It's, it's amazing. He was awesome. Um, Here's my second question for an actor um, in the asylum. Uh, there's this girl in there. Um, the only reason I'm really bringing up, not only because I want an answer to this question, but um, Alicia missed it, and, and I don't know how she missed it. There's this girl in there with bandages, like this bandage like wrapped around her eyes, and these like red blood spots where her eyes would be and she has like an ice cream scoop saying I want to scoop out your pretty eyes which is amazing Un unbelievable by the way but to the actor doing that how do you see like how can you see through like this bandage over your eyes um and I only bring that up because make sure you take a look at it it's just absolutely amazing and I do want to know how you can see through that um again Asylum, they do have mazes. Um, the maze, um, actually, before I get to the maze, you're going to get to a classroom. Um, and thank you so much for the message on the chalkboard for me. That was that was amazing. Um, I almost missed it, and I saw it. I'm like, oh, crap, and I had to take a picture of it. So thank you so much for that. Um, so... The Asylum has really, really creepy music. Um, like that old timey, like, 30s music. It sounds like it's being played on like a 78 that's just like constantly spinning. It, the, the, the music and all, they, they pick the perfect music for each setting. Um, the use of crutches um, in the asylum, I can't tell you what exactly they do, 
but what they do with crutches I have never seen before um, I guarantee you you've never seen it either um, it blew me away last year it was amazing to see this year um, yeah, at the end, you're going to kind of get to like this, this maze. Um, there is so much fog at the end of the asylum that you just can't see anything. Um, and there's just, like this really loud music. It's like this like ravey type music. It's just like fog and music and you don't know where you're going. I don't know what's... Um, more terrifying when you can't see and like the walls are really tight and you can't see or when you can see and you can barely feel like it. you really have to stretch out your arms to feel where you're going I'm not sure what's more terrifying um, both are equally terrifying and equally like messed up um, and it's like not walls at, at the end where you can't see it's like chain link fences and there's actors in there which again I don't know how these actors breathe with all that fog there's actors on the floor I think I tripped over one if I tripped over one or if I kicked you I, I, I apologize um, I literally couldn't see um, but un unbelievable this this is truly truly one of a kind um, it's very very hard for me to pick um, what was my favorite attraction? Um, they're all great in their own separate ways. Um, it, it's so scary there. It's so intense. When I walked out of the asylum, we were going to go over and get like a thing of water, like a bottle of water. I actually had to like stop and like I bent over and put like my like hands on my knees and Alicia's like, are you okay? And I'm like, Ugh. I just had to like catch my breath. It's just so intense and it's just so like sensory overload. You're getting hit with everything, noises, smells, you know, sights. It's just crazy. Um, so we, we take a breather, obviously, cause then, you know, we got two more things to do. So like we definitely, and it was hot that night. Um, Again, I don't know how these actors do it with the heat and all that stuff they have to go through. So we, we cool down a bit. We decide to do um, the escape room, the, the escape room camper. Um, we've never did an escape room before. The first time we did an escape room was on Friday night at another haunt only because they offered it to us. Um, and the guy told us basically what to do. So I don't really count that. Um, the escape room, it's $10 a person, it's 15 minutes, um, you know, go in there, um, they're going to give you walkie talkies, um, we didn't know that we could, like, call out to the people outside for, like, additional clues, um, we, we didn't know, we didn't know we could do that, um, but that's what the walkie talkies are for, if you need help anything um radio out to them they will uh they will help you um it's not a thing you need to actually escape out of it's three things you need to solve um i believe it's um you gotta it's like a serial killer thing you gotta find out who the killer is the weapon and the next victim um it is it was very fun i mean we did horrible at it but uh you know we're not used to escape rooms and we didn't know we call out for clues and um but if you enjoy escape rooms you will really like this one if you've never done an escape room before please check this one out um it, it's really well put together um like you get like a video monitor it tells you what to do it has like a, a clock ticking down um it's very big obviously very very interactive this whole place is interactive um so please check out that escape room camper because it was really fun um especially if you like if you love donut check it out uh they have there the last thing um i did um was the blood shed um which obviously is very unique strictly at bloodshed farms um 
Last year, I didn't do it. This year, I was basically told I had to do it. I was going to do it probably anyway, but I was like forced. <sighs> Let me read you what it says on their website about the bloodshed. The bloodshed is a unique, intense, personal, interactive fear experience. There's several of those words. In fact, all of those words that could be capitalized in bold, exclamation point, underline, you name it, is all of those things. This is the part where, as a reviewer, it's very hard to describe it because I, I can't give anything away. What I can tell you is it's $13 a person. You go in by yourself. You sit on a chair, they lock you in, they will give you a panic button. I don't know how long it lasts. It felt like good 30 to 40 minutes. I, I know it, it, it wasn't that long, but that's how long it feels. Let me tell you, I've never been through or done a haunted attraction, any part of a haunted attraction by myself. I did... I, I just won't. It's just one of those things I will not do one by myself. This one, you have to do by yourself. Um, if you're in a group with, and only like say like one person's going in or two and like there's people in your group that aren't going in, next to it, um, on the outside, there's a TV monitor and there's like a uh, night vision camera so your friends can see what you're going through. Um, they actually let you record um, the, vi the uh, TV monitor so, you know, you can relive that magic over and over again. Um, now, if there's a couple in front of us, um, they were both doing it. If there's two people, or say three or four, and you're all doing it, do not cheat and go over and look at that TV screen. Stay in line where you are going not knowing what to expect <sighs> another thing i can tell you about this is um where you watch the tv it's right next to the line for the uh the trail well i guess the look on my girlfriend's face caused a reaction from the people waiting in um, the trail line to the point they asked her, like, what, what are you watching? What is going on? And then she described it and whew, it can cause reactions from other places. It's just crazy, crazy. Uh, I've, I've never experienced that before. Let's just, let's just say that. And, and please, if you if you think that, oh, yeah, nothing's going to freak me out, I mean, they, they give you a panic button for a reason. Um, it, it is nuts. Do it. It's $13 per person to get in. It is unique to bloodshed. So if you're going to go there, do everything. Check it out. Um, after that, I mean, I was pretty much destroyed I mean my god like I, I'm just like so like after just so sore just from like the, the walking and the crawling and the, the, what everything so we decided we're, we're gonna head out um like I said the heading back out you have to go through the gift shop you came in um I was so excited to return to get a t-shirt I collect t-shirts from haunts. I want a Bloodshed Farms t-shirt. No smalls. No mediums. <sighs> Again, another year without a Bloodshed Farms t-shirt. Um, they do have, they do have, they, but they do have t-shirts. Um, I'm a little guy, I, you know, I can't fit into an extra large or large or anything. Um, T-shirts are awesome looking. Um, they have hoodies. They do have, they have um, like these awesome like mesh trucker style baseball hats. Um, obviously I love wearing hats. Um, 
I don't know why I didn't get one. They're awesome looking. Um, if I can get out there again, um, I definitely, definitely want to pick up a hat. Um, little shot glasses, everything. Um, just, and not only the, the, the stuff like that says bloodshed on it, there's stuff in there that I don't know who makes this stuff, but it's all unique, one of a kind. It's like hand painted, hand crafted. It's like craft stuff. It, it's just unreal. It's just so awesome to see. Again, it just fits the whole theme of the whole place. It's unique and one of a kind. Um, they do have um, awesome things like character pins and stuff. Um, I did have to pick up a pin of my buddy Grin, as you can see right there. Um, there's one of Cheeks right there. Um, you can pick those up. I think the big ones are a dollar. The smaller ones um, are 50 cents. Um, that's awesome. Please, please support the characters there. Um, you can also get, look how awesome this uh, photo is. Um, you can definitely pick up photos from different characters. Um, which is awesome. Please, please support the all the actors there who have stuff for sale. Um, cause you won't see anything like them anywhere else. <sighs> but please get small t-shirts in. Come on. I mean, um, I would, it, I would love to get back to this place. Um, by the end of the season it is going to be very, very hard to wait. To return um, just because I love it so much. Um, I'm super bummed they're not doing the uh, Christmas haunt this year. Um, they did it last year. Sadly we missed it. I was really hoping they would do it again this year so we can go. Um, that kind of sucks they're not doing it. Um, If you do it, if you do the Christmas haunt in 2020, um, if, if that's the thing, I know that's far away. I don't even know what your, your plans are, but uh, if that if that Christmas haunt happens, um, I might have a big epic plan, um, f something for that if that happens. Um, By now, after, if you, geez, we're at uh, 42 minutes by now, um, if you're thinking I'm like exaggerating because, oh, I'm an actor there or I'm getting paid to say this, I am not, I'm not an actor there. I don't get paid. I do these reviews because I love going to haunts. I love talking about them. I love spreading the word. Um, so yeah, don't for once think, oh, I'm saying this um, because I'm getting paid. I'm not, I'm saying this as the best and honest review I can give. And I honestly love this place. Um, everyone there, thank you so much. The owners, thank you for putting on such an incredible, credible haunt. Um, like I said, hopefully we can get there again this year. I'm not sure when, um, but I would love to come back out. Um, but yeah, check it out. Um, you can subscribe um, to my YouTube page. You can follow me on Instagram at Fall Ritual. I have a newly uh, Facebook page. It's Fall Ritual. It's not like a like page. It's an ad friend page. Thank you to Grin. Um, please feel free to add me. You know, I'm going to post this on uh, YouTube, obviously. Um, the Facebook, the, the Bloodshed Facebook. Um, but thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, go check it out. Bloodshed Farms, Columbus, New Jersey. You guys are amazing. Go check it out.